Hi everybody, it's Leslie with your February forecast for Valentine's and just for February. Um, a happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Thank you again for all your comments and your likes. Really appreciate it. It's very, very nice. Uh, makes you feel makes it feel worthwhile to do this if everyone likes their horoscopes. Not everyone like them, but most everybody. And you know, you can always call for a more in-depth reading if you'd like that, especially if you're an Aquarius or you have some questions. Okay, Aries. The new moon in Aquarius on the 4th brings a focus on a long-range goal. Long-range goals, actually. Rewards from a community service or volunteer program. Um, you may get rewards from that. You may get recognition. Clear your clutter. So, because you, you like to have your clutter clear so you can go ahead and organize your things. You will devote extra effort toward achieving new goals. Romantic prospects are bright during the 4th. Following the new moon, on the fourth, during during the full moon, um, a lot of romantic prospects could be coming your way during that two weeks after that. Actually, someone new or deepening ties will come in. Expect some fun and laughs. You'll receive a lot of attention from others. Suddenly, you will realize you have grown and changed. You might and, and you have changed quite a bit, Aries. You might be tempted to have a secret involvement. Have fun, but be careful. And happy Valentine's again. Your best days are the 8th, the 9th, and the 27th. And let's see what the cards have in store for you for the month of February. Here we are. Let's see. That's in the past. I think there's some money have come to you. Um, you were able to to uh, finish up some kind of a deal or you had a money-making deal that's starting to make you money in the recent past. That's, that's the Queen of Pentacles there. Uh, you also might have someone who wanted to invest in your business. Oh, nice. No opposition, that's for sure. Okay, you're very happy with some friends. You're going out with some, some girlfriends, going somewhere to celebrate, to do something. Um, and you have some good friends you enjoy doing that with. Uh, even dancing, maybe, or a party. Here you are having a conversation with someone that uh, this could be an old friend from the past or someone new, but I, that makes you feel like they're an old friend from the past. But I do believe this is a conversation with someone that you know and that you've been wanting to have. It could turn romantic almost. Could be someone you went to school with a long, long time ago. And here you are, your most positive influence is, um, is temperance. And temperance is really judging one way or the other what you want to do with something, but balancing it out, balancing out quite a bit. So it's a good month so far. And the sun, of course, means happiness, where you feel cheerful, up and positive. It also means if you have any health, health, um, health things you're worried about, you will get better. It will. And if you have someone that you know that is really worried about something with their health, they will be getting better. Remember, prayers always help. Well, you have no opposition, actually. The wheel of fortune means change, and change in a positive way. So instead of going this way, like Murphy's Law, it's starting to go this way. It also means you could have money or investments coming to you, investments making money and coming to you. Very nice. And the King of Pentacles is maybe the person you're with now who wants to get you a nice gift maybe for Valentine's Day, or it could be uh, someone new that you're meeting. But their, um, their value, your job with them is to teach them the values of life and of love more than, more than money. And let's see the angel card for you. Let's see. Pick one here. Think with your heart, not your head. That's your angel card for the month. I hope you have a very happy Valentine's Day and a happy February. Bye-bye.